five minute close slightly below the range so there's it leads to something right but you see what i mean when i say like closures will lead to the next range fill so like if you can understand candlesticks right you know right now like okay this five close below there's a higher chance that this five has to drive down to fill the range so then when it does come down to fill the range you kind of just want to higher time frame what happens then right and then you realize that, okay oh what's happening the one hour count is breaking the lows the four counts breaking the lows right and then you can like anticipate anticipate a lot more plays happening in foreman um that way um and that's kind of that's kind of really all that you're really doing you're just kind of anticipating plays to form throughout the day like you have like an idea of what the bias could be for a day or you're anticipating right like for instance now like look third minute count if it were to flip bullish what happens then you have a clean range fill until 2035 2035 what happens the one hour count flips bullish the four count flips bullish again and if that's the case you know you end up closing above 38 you're good for bias the problem is there might not be falling for you to push right but you could anticipate it and when there's no volume there's no trades right but when there is volume there's obviously trades because price actually moves and breaks out and drives i'll give it like 